What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jones at 4K bringing you guys another Forza Horizon 5 drift tune and build video. And I know it's been a long time guys since I've made another video. There's a lot that we could talk about. There's a lot that we need to talk about. But we're going to dive into this build. For today's video, we're going to be getting into the 2003 SVT Cobra Mustang. Or you can call it the Terminator with the 4.6. Either way, we're going to get into the build, followed by the tune. Then we're going to take it out to the mountain to see if we can 3-star the zone and also put down a million points. Alright guys, without wasting any time, diving into the build of the car for the motor swap. So unfortunately, Forza did what Forza always done. The 4.6 is a really good motor. IRL, the 4.6 makes great power supercharge or boost it. I didn't really like the power that it made with the stock motor. So we went with the 5.2 V8. It comes out of the 2020 Chevy GT500. So that's the motor we chose. Obviously, we left the car rear wheel drive and then we put twin turbos on it. For the drivetrain, the clutch, we went with the race clutch. We went with the drift four speed transmission. We went with the race drive line and we went with the drift diff. On the platform and handling, we have the race brakes. We have the drift springs and dampers. We have the front race row bars. We have the rear race row bars. We have a row cage race. And then we have a race weight reduction. For the arrow and appearance, we went with the saline front bumper. We left the stock wing on it. We went with the saline rear bumper. We went with the saline hood. And we, I, I chose to go with the stock side skirts. For the tires and the rims, we have the Horizon Semi Slicks. You can choose to go with the Semi Slicks or the Hot Wheels Semi Slicks. They all have the same performance numbers. For the front tire width, we left the stock at 275 width. And for the rear, we went up one to 285 in the rear. For the rim size, we went with 18s in the rear. And we also went with 18s in the front. For the rim choice, we went with the Sport Rim Style. And we went with the Vorsteiners VF VFF 104s. For the front track width, we went maxed out in the front. And then for the rear, we went one out to give it just a little bit more stance. Obviously, we didn't put any rear profile on it. We're not building a drag car here. We're building a drift car. For the engine components, we went with the race intake, the race fuel system, the race ignition, the race valves the race camshaft, the race exhaust. We went with the race engine block. We went with the race pistons, the race twin turbos without the anti-lag. I think the anti-lag sound horrible. So we just have the race twin turbos. We have the race flywheel. We have the stock oil and cooling, and we have the stock intercooler giving this car 1,011 horsepower with 77 uh, 778 foot pounds of torque at 28, 2800 pounds with the 52 weight distribution. Now jumping over into the tune in the car, we have 24.5 front tire pressure with 20 in the rear. For the gearing, we have a 400 final drive, a 240 first gear, a 157 second, a 132 third, and then a 110 fourth gear. For the alignment, we're running negative five degrees camber in the front positive 0.3 degrees camber in the rear. For the front toe, we run a 0.7 degrees toe out with negative 0.3 degrees toe in. And for the front caster angle, we're running 2.7. For the row bars, we're running 34.9 in the front with 27.9 in the rear. For the springs, this should be 728. I changed the rim size. We have 728 in the front with a 392 in the rear. Sorry about that. For the rod height, we have it at 4.0 in the front. And then for the rear, we have it at 3.6. For our dampening, we have 6.0 in the front with 4.2 in the rear. And then for our bump stiffness, we have 4.5 in the front and 3.1 in the rear. We don't have any adjustable arrows, so they're both locked front and rear. For our brake balance, we have a 51% 50, for the balance and then 75% for the pressure. You yourself can change this however you like to fit your, you know, your individual needs. And then lastly, for the differential, we have 100% acceleration with the 100% deceleration. That was the build. Here's the tune. Then we're gonna take it out the mountain to see if we can restart the zone and put down a million points. 
All right, guys, we done made it to the top of the mountain. Let's not waste no time. Let's sit it down here to see if we can three star the zone and also put down one million points. So we're gonna go ahead and get some heat into the tires. All right, so before I dive into the build of this car, guys, I just want to apologize to you guys for my long, long absence, man. Um, I, I've had some life events that forced me to uh, pretty much relocate. So I've had to relocate and where I relocated to, I, I'm i pretty much out in the woods. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm out in the woods. I don't have any cell phone service. The internet I had prior to maybe a week ago, I couldn't keep internet connection. I couldn't, I mean, it was horrible, but I was able to hold enough service to, you know, update Forza at some point in time and get this car. So I'm, I'm really glad I didn't want to miss it. I, I managed to grab it. Um, I, it sucks, man. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It completely sucks. I I'm on the verge of losing my partnership with YouTube. Um, uh, I feel like I've let you guys down, but I mean, life is going to life regardless of what, you know, what I can control and what I can't control. And the only thing I know is at the end of the day, I I enjoy videos. I enjoy making videos for you guys. And as long as I, you know, as long as I got my PC, which I just got back maybe two weeks ago, as long as I got my PC, I'm going to I'm going to get back to making videos. That's that's all I can really do, man. I mean, I hope you guys stick with me. I hope you guys keep riding with me. Um, all the great words of encouragement, all the great words of um, you know, support that I've been receiving. Like, even though, even though I haven't been on my YouTube channel and making videos, I still see all the comments, you know, I see all the comments, man. And you guys are super supportive. I couldn't ask for a better group of people to support my channel. I, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm super nervous uh, about making this video, super nervous about driving. I haven't done it in so long. Like, I mean, it took me, I felt like it took me forever to, to build this car. It took me forever to drive this car, but I mean, here we are. I mean, I feel, I feel like, I feel like I, I get it back. You know what I mean? And we're going to be back, you know, back to your regular schedule program. Try to get you guys at least a video out a week. Um, I, I do have my computer, like I said, so I can at least make the video at home. And if I don't have internet, man, I'll just take a flash drive, take the video with me on a flash drive and upload it at work. But I, I promise you guys, um, I, I can't do that again, man. It's been too long. I worked too hard to get to the YouTube program to get to the partner program and I don't want to lose it for anything. So I, I, I'm pretty sure I got to the end of the month to get some numbers up and we're just going to rock it. If we lose it, we, you know, we bounce back, we go for it again, but I'm here. So let's do it. Um, another, another thing that kind of, another thing that kind of hurt me a little bit. I'm going to be honest with you guys was the release of the new Forza, the new Forza Motorsport. Forza Motorsport dropped and I played 31 hours of that game early access and never picked it up. I, I don't like it. I hate the game. I had big plans, big ideals, drift comps, drift nights, and that game literally killed my motivation. It tore it in half. I mean, absolutely tore it in half. So I, I just, I don't, I don't know, man. It, 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 it changed everything that I wanted to do so, so bad. And it was just the start of just the downfall of, you know, everything that happened. But there we go, man. I'm not mad. 1,062,000. You know, I really wish I had the four six motor instead of the five two, but it's okay. I mean, I, I popped the Ford motor into a Ford car. Y'all know me, I would have put the LS in it or the the seven point two. But I chose to, you know, keep the Ford motor in there. But this 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 car drives. This car drives. I'm gonna be honest. Drives exactly like the two thousand Cobra R. It just, I don't know. It like physics wise, it feels slightly better. But it drives the same way. It just feels slightly better. But it, it, it drives nice. I've been doing a lot of you know different tweaking with the dampening, trying something different out, and I absolutely love the way the dampening feels. Um, it makes the car a little bit more grippy. Uh, definitely makes the car a little bit more grippy. Makes the car you know stick and plant more. Um, all I've really been doing, man, in my free time is just researching. You know that's what I do. I research. I watch the drift cars. I, I try to replicate how the drift cars look. And I know. I know this is RL. I mean, I know this is a game and RL, you know, don't really compare or don't really translate over or transition over. And I mean, in some cases, yes, in some cases, in some cases, no. So I just try to find a medium, you know, I try, I try to find a medium that, that works. You know, that's, that's all I really do. 
but like I said, guys, that's that's it, man. I made, I made, I mean, I made it. You know, one million sixty-two thousand. This car is beautiful. I, I mean, I, absolutely. It's probably. I'm not a big Ford guy. I'm not a big Mustang guy, but the the Terminator is one of my favorites outside the Fox body. Um, I do hope you guys continue to ride with me. I hope you guys continue to support me. Uh, I do feel like I feel like complete crap for leaving you guys in the dust with you know with with life. You know, some of you guys really look forward to me doing this, but I'm I'm back as of right now. I'm back, guys. So. We're going to rock out. You guys keep supporting me, man. But that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll definitely catch you guys in the next video. Much love and take care.